And I've never drawn a meteorologist on the sun before, but you know, this is how I would imagine it would look. Welcome to Random Acts of Drawing! That's right! Timer's on. Alien eating pizza. Okay, we have a very fluffy alien. She's like, okay, this hippo is jumping out of a airplane. Just something completely spontaneous and random. And I used to play that with our kids. And basically it was created to keep people, specifically children, off of their electrical devices and drawing and being creative and problem solving. Most fun thing about the Random Acts of Drawness 30 Second Drawing Challenge is that I don't know what they're gonna ask me to draw. Okay, Peggy Lottie said, hey Brady, will you draw an elephant? I was like, I love elephants, of course I'll draw Hi. one. Something that I did with my family is now available and anybody can get this book and tap into their own creative energy and discover something about themselves that hopefully they didn't even know existed. Hi Brady, I think everybody's pretty sick of me talking about that stuff. So can you draw me forecasting from somewhere warmer, like the surface of the sun maybe? Wow, that's gonna be hot. Okay, surface of the sun. Timer, go! All right, so we have Ginger Z on the surface of the sun. Look at that hair, look at how wavy your hair is, Ginger. Okay, and we'll have you here, hand on hip, talking about the weather. That's the weather map. And your hair's so big that you can't really see it, but you're still talking. And there's heat waves, and you're sweating, and there's your dress, and there's a crater, because suns have crater, and stop. 29 seconds. I realize now that the sun does not have craters, or maybe it does have craters. Maybe this is a sun-moon kind of hybrid thing, but Ginger, I hope you like it. I've never drawn a meteorologist on the sun before, but you know, this is how I would imagine it would look. <laughs>